Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all going to be about how to hit longer drives. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned, today's video is all going to be about adding distance to your drives. I'm focusing on the driver today as that's the main thing when I ask amateurs what they're trying to do is adding yardage to their driver. But actually what we're talking about would be true whether we're talking about a fairwood, a hybrid or even into our irons. So this could be a gain distance with any golf club, but today I'm going to be focusing more on the driver. So what we're talking about is increasing the depth in our downswing. So the golf club has a center of mass and we have a center of mass. And if we can get the golf club's center of mass to go deeper behind us, further behind our center of mass, we can create more speed through an increased pivot rotation. Now that might sound all very technical, but all we're really talking about here is in the downswing, trying to get the golf club to feel like it drops a little bit further behind your body, so further behind your heels. So from there, to get that club to the ball, we've got to increase our rotational rates. We've got to speed up our pivot. And that means more distance because the club is actually having to travel further. And I'll simply demonstrate that. If I got to the top of the backswing and the golf club came down more in front of me here, it's getting to this position sooner than it would do if the golf club actually was traveling this way first before coming back into the ball. So if we can send the golf club on a longer route on our downswing, we've got more time to increase that speed. And when the golf club is further behind us here because the center of mass of the golf club has got a little bit deeper behind us, as I said, we've got to square that club now through increasing our body rotation. So our pivot rotation there. And that's a huge power source. It has a couple other effects as well. So if you are a player who's coming down this way, you're generally creating a very steep angle of attack. Now you might be compensating. You might be coming down knowing that you're going to hit it steep, but then leaning back or standing up, potentially even blaming on looking up. Um, now the, the number of one uh, you know, compensations you can make, but if that club is actually traveling this way behind us first, before we start to rotate, we're effectively creating a longer, we call it a flat zone. So the club isn't, I like to think of it, instead of it being on a V shape, it's more on a U shape. So we're actually getting that club low to the ground for longer, and therefore we, uh, we can actually get some better contacts, better strikes from there. We're not so steep and then having to compensate. So what we're trying to feel at the start of the downswing, and as I said, this would be relevant with any golf club, is that the club actually travels a little bit further behind our body. Now, this is a very exaggerated movement, but I'm gonna put a picture actually up on this video of Lee Trevino in his downswing, and he was fantastic at it, of getting that club actually working behind him and then really opening up his body. I get a lot of golfers who tell me they can't open up their body. I'm just seeing what you can actually do and the amount of golfers I meet on the range that just don't know what their physical capabilities are. You know, they might say they're inflexible, they might say they're getting older, but they just don't know what they're capable of. I'm asking you to find your capabilities. I'm not suggesting you're gonna get into an impact position like Cameron Champ or Dustin Johnson, but try and get to the best impact position that you can do. So creating some depth early in the downswing is really going to help us increase this pivot rotation and therefore speed. As a drill, let's jump straight into it. What I'm going to ask you to do is actually stop at the top, allow the, the club to feel like it drops behind you before you create rotation. And I've done some videos talking about this before, but having that freeze at the top of the backswing is a really good feeling. And then the feeling that the club drops behind me first before I start to rotate. And I'm just gonna do it without too much speed to start with. So let me give that a whirl. I'm gonna stop at the top, drop, and then create that rotation through the ball. Now I'm not expecting you to hit fantastic golf shots from there, but a great drill on the range. And then we can start to put it into a slow pace movement without stopping. But it's really gonna get that sensation of the club shallowing more behind me. Now the important thing and the thing we've got to make sure we nail is that we don't lose posture to achieve it. So we don't want that club working further behind us this way, but our body early extending. So we've got to feel like when we allow that club 
to actually get a bit deeper behind us, we maintain our posture. So that's what I want you to get that feeling of, that sensation of at the start of the downswing. Let me see if I can hit one here, just with a little bit of pace to it without stopping, but getting that feeling, that club working a little bit further behind my heels. Great. Split the fairway now. It wasn't flat out, it wasn't full speed, but really got that sensation of the club falling a little bit more behind me. Definitely something I need more in my golf swing. It's something if you've got uh, access to, well, everybody has, I guess, video, and you can look at yourself just on some cheap or free apps. I use Huddle a lot with lessons. I, I'd recommend that. You can draw lines over yourself. If you can record yourself from the down line position, so you'd want the camera to be almost level with your hands, so almost on this yellow stick I've got on the floor here, and what we'd want to see is how far behind our heels the club gets. So if you drew a line at the back of your heels, how far behind you does that club get? If we can get that club working a little bit behind you here, it will be a strange sensation. You'll think, how am I gonna get that club back to the ball? You're going to increase your pivot rotation and that is gonna ultimately give you more speed, more distance with your drive, which I know is something you're looking for. If you did enjoy the contact video, make sure you hit like and do subscribe to the channel for all the other content. At least two videos a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30, but as well as some Saturday specials. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.